plant lovers welcome back to my channel my name is krista from plant lux hi how are you today i am fantastic today we are going to treat my plant for spider mites and it's honestly a very easy process the first thing that you want to do is make sure you have a bowl of soapy water and then neem oil and then a very 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 soft old bristle toothbrush is what I like to use and also have handy some napkins I like to use some white napkins or some white paper towels to brush off those spider mites okay so that's what you're gonna need today run out and grab it go get your plant too and treat your plants right alongside with me today while I treat mine let's jump right into it so here we have a very beautiful red emerald philodendron. And if you can see here, this is a spider mite infestation. Do you see the sap that is coming off the plant? Now, this plant has previously been treated, sprayed down with a pretty good pesticide, neem oil. So we just gotta keep on doing it and hopefully um, after a while the spider mites will be obliterated. This time I'm going to try scrubbing them with this very soft toothbrush. I've done it before, it works wonders. So I'm gonna begin with some warm soapy water. Into the warm soapy water. and give it a good, now I'm doing this pretty gently. I'm not, you know, really grinding on the leaf or using too much friction, but I am trying to loosen up the bodies that I saw attached to the back of the leaf. I wanna make sure I'm getting in, you know, those crevices, crevasses, giving it a nice little scrub and then I'm gonna wipe it clean. And hope for the best. Gonna want to get the front side of the leaf as well. See the front side here. Same thing. So not as many nooks and crannies on this side. And as an added measure, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna hit it with a neem oil on both sides. And then I'm just honestly going to spray it again. Whatever I didn't get, hopefully the neem will kill. Okay, so soapy water. Again, this is a very soft bristled brush, very soft bristled brush. And I'm just going in little circles and just trying to be gentle. Going up and down too. Just trying to get between those little crevasses. They have a particular 
special motion that I'm doing here. Just I'm just trying to loosen up those spider mite homes. Very soft bristle brush, like I said before. This side is really doesn't, this side really doesn't have like places for them to really attach to, but all right, then I'm gonna take my cloth and then I'll go ahead and make sure I wipe it down. I'm trying to get all of that old stuff off of that. So when you see that your plant is oozing sap, you know there's a bug that's making that happen. So that's what I saw on the backs of my leaves. I knew it wasn't like water or dew or anything like that. It was sap. So I'm trying to eradicate the problem. Now, if you have a very big plant, this would be a huge pain in the butt, but <laughs> however, it's worth it. Gotta take care of your plant babies. Well, I will say that looks a lot better. And then, as I said earlier, I would go ahead and give it a nice little spray with the neem on both sides until the leaf is dripping and leave it. Let it set. Let's see, I'm gonna wipe off this guy. Now, if you don't like the idea of using the brush, a warm, soapy paper towel would probably work. Might not get in those crevices as well, but something is better than nothing. Using a little bit of friction, not a lot, you don't want to upset the plant. Okay, we've got two down. <laughs> this could be an, uh, this could take a long time. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> now, if you don't really see anything on a leaf, and you want to do it really quick like, you could do that too. Like this one, I'm not really seeing much on here. This must be a leaf that really wasn't affected. Just wiping it to see if I see any um, any black dots on my white paper towel. I like to use a white paper towel when I do this because. Um, I like to see if there's any little black dots, you know, like, did I get them? Did I pick them up? Are they off the plant now and onto my paper towel? Well, that's always nice to know. I'm just gonna go ahead and come in here. Making sure no one's hanging out back here, you know. No spider mites allowed. You do not like the spider mites. They are sap, sap suckers. All right. Okay, well, I think this one looks pretty good. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm hoping it's of value to you. Make sure that you're cleaning your plant leaves so that disease doesn't set in. Go to the back of this leaf. Oh yeah, that has a lot of. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like now. Focus. Don't really see any foreign bodies anymore. But I just absolutely love the veining of these leaves. They are just phenomenal. 
They are so beautiful to look at. And you know, if you don't have your red emerald philodendron in a nice window, you're not gonna get as a uh, ruby color of, of a stem. So it's really important that you have it in a window where it's receiving adequate sunlight to get this kind of veining. Just absolutely phenomenal. It is breathtaking. It's so gorgeous. So this is what a new leaf looks like right here. Notice how there are no spots on the back of this one. Um, you know, the spots are caused by damage that the spider mites did. So it's something to keep in mind, you know, when you're inspecting your leaves, they should look like this, okay? And not necessarily like, let's see, <laughs> like this. So this is a leaf I haven't yet cleaned. You see all the damage that the spider mites did? You see all those guys? Look at those nasty little, oh, just absolutely do not like spider mites. So this is what spider mite damage, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle here for you. Spider mite damage looks like this. Notice it's kind of sappy looking. discolored. Okay, that's damage caused by the spider mites. On um, the front side of the leaf, you know, it doesn't really look like anything. It looks beautiful. So it's not the end of the world when, you know, you have something like that happen. You can still have a really beautiful plant, but obviously it's better to not have any spider mites at all. <laughs> all right. And when you're treating your plant for spider mites, make sure that you're getting the stems because the stems are really important. They can hang out and cause damage here as well. So just kind of take note. And when you see sapping on the stem, you know it might be an indication of, hey, better treat that spot. All right, that's it. So another thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you are hitting all of the leaves with the neem oil. Make sure that you are spraying any plants that your plant was sitting next to with neem oil. Just be safe, okay? Also, uh, another word of advice, uh, make sure that you hit those new leaves, but be careful what you put on the new leaves because you could harm the new growth. Okay, well. Uh... Thank you guys for joining me today while I treat my plant for spider mites. It's one of the things that you got to check for when you have plants. Make sure that you are washing your leaves. All right then. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you in the next one.